Hey, it's doing Comic Kids, Cash Cow in Puerto Rico. Today we gonna do Big Bang Comics. You can see the logo on the back, guys. Pretty good pose. Uh, show you guys what I picked up once I get back home. A little short video. They got manga. They got uh, omnibuses. They got new issues. They, they got some pretty good stuff. Uh, didn't see too much back uh, page stuff, but hey, that's because a lot of the people have bought it. I mean, I love the art. Look at that. It's one of the top comic book stores in Puerto Rico, so if you guys are uh, traveling, you know, be sure to stop here and get this place a try. Back in soon. Check out what I'm what I bought and show you a little quick video of what I was looking at and yeah, I'll take it easy. <laughs> Cash Cow back with another video. As you can see, I safely got back from a trip. Uh, enjoyed a few days in San Juan, Puerto Rico. I got a video coming with that of what I learned and what's more important. And my time there. But also... I managed to stop at a comic book store. It's one thing I've always enjoyed with traveling. If I can, I take a, some time out to stop at a comic book store and enjoy, you know, how things are done there. So I, I, I did the same when I was in Paris. I did the same uh, when I was in Dubai, Berlin, London. Like, I always managed to stop at a comic book store and just have fun. And But this is the first time I kind of recorded certain things, certain things I did, and I left it out because, you know, it's their store. I don't want to give away everything. But today we're talking about Big Bang Comics in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So, the footage you guys see that's that you're gonna see before this is how you know the store looks or the type of atmosphere you'll get and today I'm basically just gonna show you my haul show you what I picked up not that much but I feel like it was important to me with that being said the first one we gonna do is mad mad magazine number 25 for some reason, I feel like Black Adam, with The Rock doing it, is going to be very hot. Kind of is at this point. Like, his, what, first Silver Age appearance is, is spiked up pretty well. 
It's still got room to grow. It's kind of in a lull right now. But I remember when I was buying these issues back in the day, how cheap it was compared to now. It, it's insane. But I just, I, I like the cover. I've always been a big fan of Mad Magazine. Obviously, you can see he's on the cover. The Rock is on the cover as Black Adam. You see Mad, <laughs> but I guess pretending to be Shazam. I don't know. But I just, it's something I like. Mad Magazine has always been one of those comic issues that's with the, the test of time. So to me, I was like, hey, that's a nice cover. It's not bad. I got to get some more magazine covers, guys. I, I'm slipping on that. That being said, let's move to the next one. I got Venom, number one, Lethal Protector, a variant edition. Now, I like the cover. I like how it presents. They had a few of them. They had a regular copy. It wasn't bad either. It's kind of hard choice. I was like, oh, man, do I get the that part or do I get this one? And then knowing that they're basically they redid the Venom Lethal Protector. Because the gold foil and the red foil, I think it's a silver or black foil too. I don't, don't quote me on that, but I think so. I know for sure it's a gold and a red. But they're redoing that. I was like, oh man, I'm a fan of Venom. I've always been a fan of Venom. <sighs> Why not? Like... It's, it's kind of hard nowadays to invest in more modern age because... They start and stop so many things. So you'll get a number one, and then six months from then, they'll bring out another number one. I'm like, I'm not going to keep up with all that, guys. Like, back in the day, they had long comic runs, and they kept it at that. So just why I decided to take a chance on I'm going to read it. With modern comics, I don't really look to, like, flip in. It's more of a who do I like as characters or who do I hear that has a good story certain comics you know they'll get hot but here and there but I don't look to like make a profit as much as I would like certain silver age or bronze or copper age comics just brought out too many times guys so I take my I take my time on that I invest in the characters that I actually like and I keep come, going on with that now, remember, the comic book store is Big Bang Comics. It's in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Check it out if you guys have the time. They have some stuff. Another one I've been seeing a lot on eBay lately. Now, I got a feeling like that's Wolverine Patch number one. And I feel like they're going to explore that eventually. With Wolverine, I feel like they're going to do his patch storyline. so many storylines you can do with Wolverine. It's insane. You can start off on the Wolverine versus Hulk. You can do Wolverine versus Sabretooth. You can do the Wolverine patch story. You can do, shoot, the Wolverine Alpha Flight. It's like he is one of those diverse characters to where you can just, the it's open. You can do any and everything you want with this character. And I was like, oh, man. Like, I seen it on eBay. And I know that Wolverine number eight, which is his first, like, the first, like, really main cover copy people recognize as Patch is one of those copies. It is gang steam. It is very popular. So I'm like, okay, well... Why not take a chance on this? And then you also got Wolverine number one, 1988, I want to say, which is his first appearance as Patch. That comic has also seen spikes in sales. So I'm like, why not? They're rebranding it, bringing it out. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to read it. I hope it's pretty well because I'm, I'm a big Wolverine fan. I love him. That's another one I checked. I got it, guys. Then I got Miss Marvel number one through five. 
a set of them. For 15. It's a set of them. Uh, since I got time, I'll go ahead and open them, guys. Like, I feel like with her series getting brought out, it's going to be very, very, very important. So you got number one. can see that. <laughs> number one. Got number two. Hope you guys can see that. Number three is a set of five. I was like, oh man, for that price, I can't beat that. So that's what made me jump on it, guys. Number four. And of course, number five. Now, that was a set that was to start off that series. And I feel like, um,. If I'm not mistaken, I think they were talking about launching Miss Marvel this year. So, guys, if you can get Marvel, uh, is it Marvel Now Point One? Definitely her first appearance. Uh, Captain, um, is it Captain Marvel Seventeen, the second print? That book is like expensive as hell, but it's worth it if you get that. Um, uh, her Miss Marvel number one, like the 2000 something edition, which is of this Miss Marvel, not the one we've seen in the movies. I feel like eventually they're gonna expand it to the champions. So I feel like you'll get Miss Marvel, you'll get. Ironheart, you're gonna get more Miles Morales, maybe Viv Vision here and there. I feel like they're opening the door for the next for the champions. I feel like that's what their goal is in the end is to open the door for the champions, guys. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna check this out, read these stories, talk about them. But with that being said, my last one. I know people are like, oh man, he. I, I told you guys I didn't. I couldn't find much that I didn't either already have, or I was like, yeah, I can get that. That that's kind of priced a little crazy, or yeah, that's not bad, but I don't really need it. There's some good stuff there. I'm just like, I don't really need it right now. You know, maybe my mistake. Cause comic book sellers and buyers, we all have that. We make those mistakes where we're like, ah, I should have got that. And, but hey, when you're flying like that, you got to have the bags at a certain weight limit. I don't want to pack in my comic book binder. So I was like, this is stuff I definitely want to leave with. Now, the last comic, guys, I got Ben Riley Spider Man number one, the variant edition. Now, this is one of those that I feel like with them exploring or expanding the multiverse or the Venomverse or Spider-Man verse, whatever is going on, right? I feel like Ben Riley, obviously, if anybody doesn't really know, he was a clone of Spider-Man that was introduced into a whole nother multiverse of characters. I feel like if you've seen the last Spider-Man, spoiler alert, you see that they did cross over with all the Spider-Mans that they had put on the big screen. So I feel like this is one that could eventually come. I feel like Ben Riley, the character Spider-Man, the clone Spider-Man, could actually make his make his appearance, especially being with his first appearance. Um, what is it Web of Spider-Man? Ooh, wow. See, the 30s or 80s. Um, anyway, with that, 
He's also a character that actually later he joins the New Warriors, so maybe that's a way he could be introduced if we finally get the New Warriors on slate. I'm going to do a video about them guys soon. I hate that the first per the first uh, network they were supposed to get introduced on, they got it got canceled, but with them being canceled doesn't mean they're dead. Doesn't mean nobody's not investing in it or trying to pick it up. It, I feel like the new Warriors are going to eventually happen. They're looking for more teams, and they've seen the success of the Avengers and the way you do it right that way. I feel like the new Warriors probably would be a television or you know streaming service show. I don't feel like they would jump out into the movies like they 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 would they would take some time for that. But that's what the new warriors, the champions, groups like that, I feel like they're going to take time and put those characters in that group those groups in TV series and explore the possibility to see how they do on that first before they would ever jump into the big screen. And I feel like Ben Riley is going to be one of those most important characters. Like you have with Spider Man, you have to keep reinventing him. He's that legendary to where you have to keep reinventing him. And I was like, well, why not get him? You know? So for that price, that probably was the most expensive comic I bought there. And I enjoyed that, guys. But with that being said, this is my Big Bang Comics haul. This is what I picked up while I was in San Juan, Puerto Rico. You guys check it out if you're ever there. It's Cash Cow with another video. Be safe, guys.